Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be entering the Japan Rep Tournament. We're about to become the Japanese representative, which might be a little insulting seeing as I'm an- Oh, shit! I know these characters! Oh, wait a minute! Holy crap, top left, we got that guy! We got that guy! We got Weevil Underwood! We got my buddy Bones! We got Esperoba! We got that guy! We got Rex Raptor! We got Doge! Wait, is that... is that really him? <laughs> is that just a dog? Oh, the Japan Rep Tournament's gonna be awesome! Mako Tsunami made it! Oh, man. Is that Mokuba? <laughs> oh, we're gonna see it. Oh, Weevil versus Bones! Weevil wins. Yeah, that happened in the finals of the freaking duels. Rex beat Doge! Alright, I'm taking on Snipes Crosshair. Beyond his codename, everything about this master assassin is obscured by secrecy. He has never failed to dispose of his targets. I'm a professional assassin. You can run, but I'll never give up. Let down your guard for an instant, and that'll be it for you. Alright. This is the best tournament ever. I don't care how it goes. I don't care if I lose. These are my favorite characters, and they all showed up. The hell is this? The board has finally changed. It looks like I might have to switch up my strategy now. Alright. Well, if that's how things are gonna go... Let me just roll a few dice here. Holy shit, I only got movement dice. I didn't get to see. So what is this here? An obstacle. Looks like something I can't deal with. A water obstacle. Oh, he got a summon. He got a larvae moth. Which I just realized, its stats are way too high for a level 1 monster. Why does it have 2 HP, 20 attack, and 20 defense? That's just way too high. Alright, I would also like to summon a monster if possible, game. Thank you, game. Let's get my zombie out here. My clown zombie. Although Bones just got knocked out of the tournament, so I'll have to take his place as the zombie guy. I'm sad that it was Bones versus Weevil. It reminded me of my tournament. When we did the freaking Duel's Kingdom tournament with uh, my friends, the Dynasty series. And now it's all over. It all happened again. Alright, let's see. Okay, a lot of magic crests. That could be a problem. God knows what that larvae moth's trying to do. Maybe it actually does have an effect I need to think about. Let's get a beaver warrior out there if possible. Yeah, we got a beaver warrior for sure. And let's try to get around that obstacle. We don't want to... We don't even want to look at it, really. I don't know what obstacles even do yet, but we'll figure that out together. I probably walk on it, I just drown. Ooh, lots of level 1 monsters. Okay. It's going with Stuffed Animal. It's a basic monster for level 1. 10, 10, 10, everything. It's a warrior, funny enough. Alright. Keep getting Penguin Soldier. We could always use a little bit more. And Beaver Warrior as well. Battle Warrior would be good too, honestly. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get Battle Warrior out there a little early. I don't normally like to get him out this early, but it'll be worth it this time. All I really need now is just to get one summon and some attack. Yeah, a summon and attack. I think I'll go for the summon first to block off his summoning on this side of the map. But this guy doesn't seem to have a problem summoning since he likes level 1 monsters. Oh shit. And he's going for the box, but he's not... He's not going for me, he's going... for. Okay, he's not going for my monsters, he might be going for me. Interesting guy. Like I said though, all I need to do is summon and none of this will matter. Three-legged zombie, maybe I'll use you. Alright, that'll do it. Three-legged zombie, come on out. Let's see how I want to do this. And that wouldn't be the worst, but it wouldn't be the best either. Maybe... What was that one thing I did last time? Yeah, this. This is probably the best. He could still summon, but for now it keeps my monster safe for a turn. And thanks to my battle warrior, I at least can get one attack on their boss. The Die Master. So that gives me a little bit of time. So I, I just gotta roll Attack Crest now. And that's why we have two Rui Kishins in our deck. They're not even that good of a monster. It's just the fact that they have Attack Crest. This guy's got a lot of magic. I just don't know if he could do anything with it. I gotta check that Larvae mod to, to make sure, but we'll see. Uh, well, I don't need it down here. Let me just put him down here. I need a Rui Kishin. I need a Rui Kishin. And I think the Swamp Battle Guard's good too. I need a Swamp Battle Guard. Go. 
I wonder if all the battle guards in this game. And there we go. Enough attack to win the duel. That's game. None of this matters now. I don't think he can stop three-legged zombie before the next turn comes. So our first fight in this new cup, and it seems good for me. The J Japan Rep Tournament, would you think that uh, Weevil would win this, since that seems to happen in the show. And Larimos trying to come and defend, but I didn't build a path where it could defend. So it all worked out in my favor. And even if I could summon right now, there's no point. Oh, look at that. I could summon right now. I'll still summon, because it makes me feel good. It's like, look at me. I did the thing. Alright. And I'll stop him from stopping me from going through the middle path. Before I win, does this thing have an ability? No, Larimos just is a really, really good level 1 monster. Freaking busted stats. But doesn't matter when your opponent goes around you. And just like that, we won the first fight. Take that, Mr. Master Assassin. What do we get? Shadow Spectre. Gives me two attack. That's not too bad for a level 1 monster. Alright. Oh, I will never know if that was Mokuba. Ooh, creepy clown guy won. Mako lost! Oh, shit! Weevil lost! Oh, shit! Esperoba beat Rex Raptor! Oh god, it's like the anime! Kaiba's Butler! It's Kaiba's Butler! I remember this guy! Oh, I forgot what freaking Lil Kribo called him. Ah, uh, while serving as Seto Kaiba's Butler, he hides a dark identity. Known for technacious and malignant attacks. Countless players have fallen before my dice technique. I'm only too happy to demonstrate for you. Oh, this game's awesome. There's some parts of the game I really, really don't like. Like, it's hard to play with your friends, but... And, you know, the fact that the best strategy in this game is just to go around your opponent. But, other than that, it's it's fun. Let's get Clown Zombie on the field already. Alright. Clown Zombie. You and I both know I want you to go out there. I see that water obstacle. It's probably going to be here the entire fight. But as long as you just go right around that, we got nothing to worry about. Oh, this guy also likes level 1s. Ooh, he's got a twin head behemoth. Oh, sorry, I keep saying that. Two-headed dragon. Damn it. This two-headed dragon gives him that one crest. I remember I used to use one in my deck. I got rid of it for better cards, though. Or better dice. But, you know, he'll learn that eventually. Alright. Devil Beaver Warrior? I don't think so. I think we're gonna go with Karibo on this one. I want Karibo on the field. Or, Kribo's gonna give me two defense crests, okay. Beaver Warrior it'll be. Or two guard crests, whatever they call it. I'll start building right after this one. Since he already blocked the left path. But with that obstacle, I kinda have to choose my path ahead of time. No summons, but he can attack me now. He's got a lot of that magic, too. Alright, let's get Karibo and that Penguin Soldier case I can get some movement. I've only been rolling monsters. I haven't been rolling any movement. Very dissimilar from the other times. Again, I'm only rolling monsters. Karibo, you're my next choice. I was going to do Battle Warrior, but I just realized Karibo would just work out better. I don't want to go to my enemy base yet. Build like this. It's a little bit weird for my strategy, but it'll do. It gives me more options later. See if he's, yep, he's rolling level ones. And he didn't, yep, he did get it, damn. Uh, is that a relinquished? Did he summon relinquished? Crap, why did your, how did your butler get relinquished, Kaiba? What did you do, Kaiba? You crazy man. Alright, I need movement crests. No, 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 movement crests. So these two almost always got me movement crests way back when. I don't know why they haven't done it this time. Damn it, this butler's cheating somehow. He's guaranteeing that I don't roll the movement crest that I need. He knows that I need movement crest. He's taking them away from me. It's just not high enough. I need... I need more. More distance. Something like this. But it's just not enough. Maybe that'll work. I don't like it, but maybe this'll work. I know I'm not attaching myself to the land just yet, but it'll, it, it should help me out. Plus, I gotta really be afraid of that Relinquished. I do not want to have to go over there. He'll just take over my monster. So I can attack now, but I can't move. I really need to roll a movement crest. You got another summon. Is that the snake hair? You're not the only one running... I'm not the only one running zombies, are I? 
<laughs> yeah, that's the snake hair. Raise defense of all zombie monsters. Funny enough, I like zombie monsters. I wouldn't mind getting a snake hair for my deck. Alright, Beaver Warrior or Penguin Soldier, my best combo for getting me movement crests. I just need to actually roll them. Okay, I got some movement. Good. That is very good. Three-legged zombie, you seem to be my new main attacker. Whenever I want to get into an enemy base, you're the guy I send. There we go. That doesn't work either. Okay. I know there's a way to do this. I just gotta figure it out. Give me a sec. Might be this one, actually. There we go. Something like this. Ah, I can't get up there. Okay. Well, there's something here. I just know it. Just gotta give me some time. There we go. But if I go backwards, it's only two movement. Yep, that's perfect. Alright. And with that, I have an access to his boss, and he doesn't have a way to hit me back. Plus, I'm a, mo I'm a zombie, so I got buffed by his own snake hair. Thank God for that one attack crest I got from Battle Warrior. This is what you get for beating a main character. How could how could he beat a main character? Freaking he's a butler. How is he good at this stuff? Alright, now I just need to roll attack press. Nothing else matter. I've already built my path. Rui Kishins, it's time! It's time for the Rui Kishin beat down. And Swamp Battle Guard, because I like to do that too. Hey, Swampy, come here. You just gotta watch out for that relinquish. And Attack Crest to win me the duel. Perfect. And Swamp Battle Guard. Perfect. I don't think I have any more movement crest, so I can't really work with that, but... Everything else is perfect. Oh, look at that. I only need one movement. Do I have one movement? I'll win the battle right now if I have one. I don't! Oh, I don't have one movement! I gave them a path to my monster as well. Damn it. If I had one movement, I would have won. I've made, a, I've made an error. Wait, can I kill that thing? How many attack crests do I have left? Only one, I can't risk it. I have to let Three-Legged Zombie win me the fight. I could have won this turn if I just had one more movement. Oh, he got a summon. Oh, that card buffs my other zombies. What the hell? This guy has a zombie deck. I want this deck. Give me your deck. I want Snake Hair. I want Zombie Warrior. Yeah, I'll take it too, dude. I love zombies. Uh, I guess I have a guard crest. I'll, I'll, let's see what Twin Head Behemoth looks like. So yeah, we're on a water map now. The one water hazard on this map. Good job. I was like on the beach. And Relinquish couldn't move to get me. So that's game, everybody. We win. Doesn't matter what I do now. We already won. Perfect. I got movement and attack. That was beautiful. Three-legged zombie, you're winning me every fight, aren't you? And just like that, we're going to semis. We got a mystic lamp. I don't want a mystic lamp. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the clown lost. Okay, good. No! The bully beat Esparoba! Miss Medusa! A Domino High teacher, although beautiful, she has a nasty reputation as Lynn, the expelling witch. She tends to slather on her makeup. Oh, aren't those dice banned by the school? Show me now. If they are, I'll confiscate. No, you'll be expelled. So she's a bad teacher is all you're trying to tell me. Got it. Bad teacher it is. I would not mind taking down a bad teacher. Alright, same start as always. Go with Beaver Warrior, go with Penguin Soldier. And then get Clown Zombie in there. You gotta trust my strategies, guys. It works every time. The level 1 beatdown is what we're starting with in this game. When we get further into the game, I will not be able to use this level 1 beatdown strategy. But I think this level 1 beatdown strategy will work at making me the Japan representative. Since Weevil seemed to have lost to that bully guy. He must have just beat them up. He didn't even actually duel them. He's like, tell the ref you lost. What? I, but we didn't even duel. Tell the ref you lost. Oh, she got two movement. That's not good. She didn't summon though, so that is good. Penguin Soldier and Beaver Warrior, same as always. Let's get our Beaver Warrior out there. Hey, I got some attack press. Thank you. If this keeps going the way it's going, I won't even need any more attack press. I can just build to her and then um, maybe get some movement crest from Penguin Soldier. And then I'll be able to win the fight. Because Battle Warrior will get me an attack crest. Nope, she's summoning. What she got? She loves her some zombies! Perfect! 
They do call her the Medusa Lady, and Snake Hair is the perfect Medusa card. But just to let you know, I love zombies as much as you do, so... You might want to be a little careful about what you summon against me. Alright, Battle Warrior, yeah, we could probably get you out by now. We don't need to, but if we do, we do. Hey, Movement Crest! Yes! Even though I couldn't do anything, I'll, I'll take a Movement Crest. Though, she summons another one of those zombies, we might be in trouble. Because then they're going to be unkillable. Their defense stat will be too high, I'll have to go around. Like I always do, but what if I can't go around? Alright, let's see. I'm gonna go with Battle Warrior. Not because I don't want him to go in and attack. We're just going in to get around her. Yeah. I don't have quite enough movement press yet, so right now it's perfect. I have enough attack press. All I need to do is summon a monster right next to the boss and I'll win the fight. Because I don't think Medusa will be able to stop me the way I'm planning on building. Do not get another monster. Shit! No! Two Medusas! This is part of- Okay, she built on the wrong side. This was part of the defense strat that I can't beat. Everything's too tanky now. 30D! 30D! Oh, I guess- Yeah. At least I'm tanky enough. Alright, all I need to do is summon and I win. I think I have enough movement and attack. I just need to summon. Three-legged zombie, would you like to end this duel too? Because she seems to want to buff your defense. Yes! Oh, just enough. That was literally the perfect dice roll for this situation. Now, do not build to her in a way where she can hit you, the guys. That's my tip to you. So, let's build... No, no, no. Maybe something like this, but the other way up. Nope, that's not going to do it. Yeah, something like that. Maybe this one, yeah. Oh, I can't make it, damn it. So, what if I switched it like this? Ah, <laughs> I figured it out. You dumbasses. You think you could stop me? You're the one getting expelled, lady. I attack your bias monster, and I have three attacks. And you can't summon near me. Literally, I blocked off your summons from the side. Well, nope, you can't, because you need more than two. You need three spaces for that one dice I'm thinking of. There's no way to stop me now. I don't care you drew level one. Your witch's apprentice means nothing. It doesn't buff dark monsters in this game because there's no such thing as a dark monster. Yep, my three-legged zombie's in complete safety. Um, I could just roll attack and movement dice, not like it matters, and we win. I'll do everything I can not to summon. We're already done. Hey, look at that. Attack and movement. I got both. There you go. I already had enough attack and I didn't need any more movement, but we'll take what we can get. Your snake hairs would have been annoying, a, uh, a very annoying Medusa lady, but I still found a way to take you down. Another witch's apprentice, so she summoned doubles of the same monster. We're playing so bad, she's the one that should be expelled. I don't know if you can expel a teen. I think that just means fire. Yeah, you should. We should get her fired. And that's enough. We're going to the finals, everybody. The Japan Rep Tourney attorney is all but ours. And we won a faceless mage! Illusionist faceless mage! It has 1 HP, but it has 30 defense, and it gives 2 movement! Oh, that could totally join my deck. Oh, that could totally join. Demetrius the Bully. This is the one we all remember. The morality enforcement officer of Domino's High Student Council. But despite his title, he is a bully who brutalizes his fellow students. If you're going to run, now's the time. You can't be seriously thinking that you can win. If you are, I'll have to give you some schooling. Alright, here we go. I did get that new faceless mage. Oh yeah, I remember Mel Guardian. I don't want him. Let's see here. Faceless mage. A level 3 monster. Which means I should probably take out a level 3 monster. But I only have two level 3 monsters, so maybe I'll take out a level 2 monster. What level 2 monster do I not need? Okay, let's do some counting. I have... I have Mystic Horseman, two Rekishans, which I'm not getting rid of, and a Swamp Battle Guard. You know what? Illusionist uh, Castle of Dark Magic doesn't help us. It does not help us. I've been having it here just because I like having it with Pumpkin, but they don't actually work together in this game. So we're going to get rid of it. And we're going to add the Illusionist Faceless Mage from Pegasus' deck. Beautiful. Can't believe I drew such a good card. All right, this is for the Japan Rep Finals, guys. We can do this. Same start as usual. Let's get ourselves a Penguin Soldier. 
a beaver warrior, and a clown zombie. And the clowns will be defending my home base. Alright, summon it is. Basic start from me. Alright, there it is. That's the one I like to start with. So, Mr. Bully, let's see how you deal with this. Yeah, he would run level 2 monsters, wouldn't he? Mm, yeah, and he's blocking off every zone. The way he built that was almost perfect. Maybe he is good at this game. Maybe he's not just good at bullying. Maybe he's good at Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters. The video game. Yeah, let's just get rid of a beaver warrior. I want to throw it onto the field. Oh, I even got an attack crest. Nice. That was a win-win right there. If I can get around him, then this strategy will work where I only need to summon Battle Warrior and it's over. But I do have to worry. This guy's summoning level 2 monsters, so maybe I'll be forced to go into level 3. Ooh, he's got a lot of movement and can hit me. All I care about is summoning, though. Summon power is everything. He who controls the map controls the game. I got movement, that's good, but no summoning. I'm still glad I got movement, I mean, that's always nice. And he got a bunch of stuff, wow. All he rolled was crest that he can actually use, damn. No monsters, but he doesn't need monsters now that he has crest. Speaking of no monsters, okay, I already have enough attack and stuff, I just need to summon. That's why I'm putting a bunch of level 1s, there's no level 2s or anything here. Oh my god, he's getting a lot of stuff. Me and him are both building up our stuff, but he's building up a lot more than me. He's got more variety. Damn it! What the hell's going on here? I don't like this. Someone help me. Help me summon the things I actually... I want help me summon. Oh yeah, he's got magic crests and guard crests for days. I hate those guard crests. They let them use your defense stat. Are you serious? Are you serious, game? You're not gonna let me summon? If I were using level 2s right now, I'd understand. I'd be like, yeah, level 2s, it's a little harder to summon. But he gets a level 3 monster? Is that the Doku Rider? He summoned the legendary Doku Rider? Holy shit! It's the Doku Rider! It's 20 on all stats, and I don't know what its effect is, but in Duel, uh, Duel of the Roses, it was a busted effect, but it was a ritual monster, so it was hard to summon. Alright, I finally got Battle Warrior. It took me way longer than expected. Yep. Ah, if I do this, we're connected. We do not want to be connected to a guy who has so much movement right now. Oh, this is gross. This is gross. No, I kind of like that one. Oh, maybe this one? Maybe this one. I'll go with this one. He could block it off, but right now I'm okay. I have a lot of attack crests, a lot of movement crests. My only weakness is that this bastard summoned a level 3 monster and a level 2 monster. And I barely managed to summon the level 1s. Okay, he's trying to get another level 3 monster. What else could he possibly want? He already got the Doku Rider. It's one of the strongest cards in the game. It's one of the strongest dice in the game. Alright, it's time for the three-legged zombie. We get the three-legged zombie in there, we win the fight. Mother... Nope, I'm okay. A little upset, I'm okay. A little upset. I think I'm just... I, I, I'm allowed to be upset. This is some bullshit. He has so many crests that I'm actually scared, so I need to build now. This is my only chance. I build to his boss in a way where he can't attack me, and I win. Yeah, there we go. And more movement crests, which don't matter anymore. Once you pass, like, 15, you're done. You shouldn't need any more than that. And there... Uh, nope, that'll build a path where he can hit me. I need to find a way to build a path where he can't hit me. Like that. It won't work. It won't work. He'll be able to hit me. But, I'll be able to build a path. So, this one lets him hit me, but it'll actually work. So, even though I'm probably going to lose my three-legged zombie, at least I'm going to get an attack off, and I can build right to his boss. Of course, he could also build right there to stop me from doing it, but let's just assume he won't do that. Because he's not going to roll two level threes. Holy shit, he almost did. And, yep, we already knew this was coming. Uh, no way I could stop hit Totsumi Giant. Does Beast have advantage over Zombie? Is that a thing? Let's find out. 
Oh no! Zombie has advantage over Beast. Oh, but he had 20 attack. Damn it. Alright, so Zombie beats Beast. Good to know. Zombie beats Beast. Alright, well, I need to summon again. Same as always. Just give me a summon. Mr. Wolf wouldn't be too bad, but you know what? I think I'd want a zombie, but I don't have any more. Oh, game! You want to be a bitch. Alright, fine. Battle Warrior. Use all that movement we got. As long as he can't body block his guy, we're good. Attack! One more attack and we win! If I can summon, we win. If I can't summon, he might be able to body block. I'm gonna put all that movement to freaking use. Alright, he got one more attack crest. He can hit me. I never got a guard crest. And it looks like Beast has advantage over Warrior. It looks like it does. Okay. So Zombie beats Beast and Warrior beats... Uh, I mean, and Beast beats Warrior. And Warrior beats Spellcaster and Spellcaster beats Dragon. And Dragon beats... Spell, I don't even know. I'm, I'm making shit up. This is probably all wrong. We know the first two were right. Oh, Doku Rush trying to block. But like I said, if I summon, I win. Just give me level ones. I just need level one. Oh wait, can Beaver Warrior make it? 17 spaces? It is! It's just enough! Oh, that was only 14 spaces! Hell yeah! Take advantage of big movement! We're the Japanese representative tournament champions! We have won! And we get a Rabbit Horseman! Oh, the fusion monster of Mystic Horseman! With 30 attack, 20 defense, 4 hearts! It's so good! We got a really good monster from the bully. We got 300 gold, that's a thousand gold in our, uh, our bank now. Oh, there's a new championship over there. I can't wait to do it. That was so much fun. Oh, that was so good, guys. I'm gonna, well, let's check Grandpa's shop before I end it off, but we're gonna end it off soon. Let's see if he's got anything new. Yes, what would you like? Do you have anything new? Same old, ooh, that's a Celtic guard. We got some new stuff. That's a Celtic guardian. You got anything special, Celtic? Nothing special, but you're a level 2 warrior with 20 attack. Kind of weird that everything else is weak for a level 2 warrior. But, ooh, it's what What do you give off? That's what it is. You give 3 movement. Oh, okay. And 3 magic crests. Ah. Alright, not bad, Gramps. Not bad. Let me see if you got anything else now. Oh, yeah, you do. You got Yoranzo, which I already unlocked, so we're cool. Yoranzo, I've never understood. Trade 3 crests in own pool for 1. You know what? That might be worth it. But it's a level 2 monster. That's the problem. Cannon the Swords Mistress. Okay. Nah. We got Aquamador and Clown Zombie as usual. We got Three-Legged Zombies here now. Alright. We got Flying Penguin. We got Millennium Shield at 7,000. He has 40 defense, but no attack. But 40 defense. Nothing. This item can't move. Oh! It's just a wall. You put this in front of your deck master, you win the duel. Because who's going to overpower 40? Even if they have a type advantage. Oh man, that's so interesting. Jirai Gumo. It's a beast monster. 20 HP and 10 and 10. It's crazy that it doesn't have like 30 attack and like 0 HP. Or 0 defense. Um, Let's see, anything else? We got Twin Head Dragon. Alright, Twin Head Dragon's here. Alright, we got some interesting new cards. I'm not going to buy them, but we got some new ones. Good to know, Gramps. Good to know. Um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying this series, please remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye bye